Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubia Gaming. Welcome back to Rift Breakers. Um, so, as you can see, I've uh, done quite a bit to my base. Um, it actually started to look a bit more like an actual base now with flooring and everything. Now, the flooring is completely and utterly um, up to you. It doesn't actually do anything to the base other than make it look a bit better. So uh, you can see the parts where I haven't actually uh, done the floor yet. You can put the floor down underneath any of that. Um, so literally you just go to the paintbrush and then you have... Um, oh. You then have either floor tiles or lighting in effect. Now the lighting does take one energy though so... It's definitely something to uh, to remember. Um, so, whenever you want a floor tile, you can actually change it. So there's four different sizes available. And there we go. And that is now completed. So we now have the floor under that. Uses carbonium, uh, carbonium. I will eventually get used to that. If they say it more and more times, um, that's when it'll start making more sense to me. But anyway, what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a uh, a follow-up video to my first look. So I don't tend to do follow-up videos, and I really should because. A first look is exactly that. It's just what your first impressions are of the uh, the game that you've basically just picked up. Um, reviewing it again after you've had a number of hours in it is actually quite useful. Um, and I have had a significant amount of time in this game now. So uh, I think I'm in a very good position to actually give some feedback. I have in uh, in fact had five hours in this game now, so it doesn't sound like a lot, but um, that five hours is actually mostly in this very game, not not just this game as in Rift Breaker, but this game as in with this character. So I did have a bit of a play in survival mode. Um, and again, I uh, technology has been developed. I started doing a video, but it was 45 to 48 minutes long. Um, so uh, I might have to redo that one. But one of the things that I did discover during that video was that there is actually a, uh, a mode within survival called Sandbox. And what that actually does is it basically allows you to just build... Um, which I find absolutely brilliant. Um, and when I say allows you to just build, um, you don't get attacked. You only get attacked when you get close to the enemy, so basically when you provoke them. So you ha would have to go searching for um, issues. Ooh. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Maybe we can learn something important. I don't know how I managed to kill that so quickly. That that was a little bit ridiculous. But anyway, yes. So um it was very very long and uh <laughs> I literally just spent most of my time talking about how great it was to be able to uh, just build a base at your own speed. Um, which, of course, I did absolutely love. Um, but there are some funny aspects to uh, to it as well. So uh, I will I will do another uh, episode or another look at that mode uh, in the future. Now, I have heard that they are bringing multiplayer to this game. Um, so expect when that does release, which might be uh, a while yet. It, it could be, you know six to twelve months so uh, don't expect that anytime soon but when they do release it I will be uh, playing it considerably uh, more often um, because I think 
this being multiplayer would just be absolutely amazing. Yes, I will build more storage facilities. Not that I need to, to be perfectly honest. Because, uh... go so I'm I'm doing it again I'm just playing the game it's so engrossing that um, I never actually get to uh, just do the talking I should do just a voiceover rather than try and record it with the voice up front but um, I like to be natural oh nasty horrible monsters so my thoughts I think this is an absolutely amazing game. Um, there are quite a few games that I do find really good at what they are intending to do. This is one of them. Um, I would say if you like RTS games, then the chances are you would probably still really enjoy this. Um, I mean, it's not an RTS as such. It's significantly different to an RTS. But it's similar enough that you are going to still enjoy the experience. Um, but it does have that more upfront and um, in your face ARPG style action to it, which uh, I do find really nice, if I'm being honest. Um, so I think it's got something for everyone. You've got your RTS, you've got your survival, you've got your base building, you've got your ARPG, and you've got your twin stick shooters. So anyone who likes games such as uh, Alien Nation, Helldivers, is really going to enjoy this. Um, there was a game that was out a number of years ago called Kill Strain, which was on PlayStation. Um, they shut it down for whatever reason. But it was very similar to this, but it was a multiplayer game. Um, so... If you did like that game or played it and wished it was still going, then I think this will fill that gap for a bit. Yes, it's not multiplayer, but um, the feel of it is very similar. Let's put it that way. Wow, that's... Uh that's a lot of enemies. It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. Right, so that's why. I'm gonna get attacked any second. Wind turbines are less effective. Or I won't. Maybe that's what was attacking me before. But yeah. Um, I would say definitely, without a fa uh, without a uh, doubt, get a uh, get the game. If you like ARPGs, if you like twin stick shooters, if you like RTS games, then this is definitely worthy of a buy. And bearing in mind they are going to be releasing a multiplayer add-on. It might be six months, it might be a year. I'm not sure um, before it releases, but either way. Just having it, being able to play it, get used to it um, before that multiplayer update comes out, I think is uh, is really going to be great. Um, what else can I say about it? I mean, it's pr pretty self-explanatory just by watching play. It's um, I, I'm definitely going to do some more videos when I have. Uh, Uh, when I have basically done more to my base so that you can see some of the advanced stuff. I've got a bit of the advanced stuff now, but I've definitely not got, um, you know, like top tier stuff, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, it's it's a long game. That That's that's all I can say. It's a very long game. I mean, I've been playing five hours, and uh, I mean, I've, I think I'm still using... 
tier 1 weapons, so none of them have got modification slots. Whereas tier 2 weapons start getting mod slots, and you can go all the way up to tier 4 or 5. So, definitely something to uh, to look at when I get to that sort of stage. So, I mean, let's just have a very quick look at my base before we go. Um, so, I've got a number of solar and wind farms. I don't use... Um, biomass or anything like that as my standard generation. So I have got a biomass, I've got plant and also animal biomass generators here. They're kind of standby for when it goes misty or foggy. I did have a carbonium one here but I got rid of it because it was removing some of the deposit. So I've got 60,000 left. Um, but I didn't want to just kind of get rid of all of the carbonium because I do need that for building. Um, so yeah, you, you can see wind generation. I've got this whole wind farm. Most of my base is wind farms, to be fair, if you have a look. It's a lot of generation going on. Um, but yeah, so I've got this solar array and another wind farm here. Um, giant wind farm, solar farm there. And then I've got more solar and more wind up here. Now these towers here, these green towers here, they actually repair all of the buildings in their sphere of influence. So if I was to go to defense and pick that, you can see its sphere of influence is relatively large. What it doesn't cover is it doesn't cover this part here. So what I try and do is overlap them. More storage facilities. So this is only going, it's not even covering that. Right, so that is actually exactly where it needs to be. Although this one here, not sure if I put one here. Yeah, so this just about covers it. But I've now got that nice little, and I've got another one there. So just try and build as many of those repair turrets as possible so that you don't ever um, lose out. Now, I have a lot of things that I need to get for this. This is my rift portal back to Earth. Um, it says to keep a, a, a large space around it. So I might end up having to destroy half of the stuff that I've put here. But I have been excavating the area and clearing it out. Um so that I can expand. I've got all of this section down here that I can expand to. I've got more goo or slop or whatever they want to call it here. So I can turn this into water if I need to. Um, but yeah, I've, I mean, I have got more generation going on. I've actually managed to get a generator up here. If I go and find it up here. So I got... A generator oh no I, did I get it I didn't I was going to but I didn't oh yes I did see I couldn't even remember so this generator here it's taking sludge out of the pond it's basically converting it into heat fuel so it's converting it into fire and that is actually a, a, a generator for I can't even remember what it's called um, Let's have a look. Gas power plant. So you need flammable gas coming in. So I'm basically just taking the sludge and it is literally just turning sludge into gas and then burning that gas for energy. Okay. Um... That's basically it. There's not much else I can really talk about. Um, whenever you get a big rock formation like this, you can't build walls through it. So you kind of have to build your walls up to it. But in reality, the creatures can't do anything with these rocks either. So they can't get to you through the rocks or anything like that. Um, ow. Right, I'm not sure... Ooh, it's not hitting 
this bottom corner. That's why that bottom corner is damaged. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Let's get a Mark II turret just to cover that. There we go. Right, and it's got no power. Okay. Right, so they're on the left-hand side. So what my defence is like. My defences around here are actually quite good. And you can see the number of turrets I've got. But it's actually this base that is going to catch the front of it. Or the brunt of it, should I say. So this base is my newest research base. So it's actually got my laboratory. Um, it is protected. But... What it doesn't currently have is it doesn't have special protection over on the right hand side. It's just using the water as its protection, or should I say the sludge. So I could do, because I've got a minute, I could just build a wall. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. So, got to be careful because there we go, excellent. So, I've got a bit more defense there. Base is under attack. The mortars do go a long range, so I don't have to worry too much about it. I mean, it, you can see that it's just absolutely crazy, the amount of uh, lighting effects and just destruction and I think that might be it yep I think that's it there we go so that works quite well I mean, I can actually put a wall all the way around the sludge, which I might do now. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to make you guys sit through that, because that will be, how should I say, very, very dull for you. So, uh, I am going to leave this video there, guys. Thank you, as usual, for watching, and I look forward to uh, seeing you for my next video as soon as it comes out. 
Well guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you haven't done so already. Share the video with all of your friends and please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video and anything else you'd like to see in the future. If you want to support me more, please follow the link to the Patreon page. It's displayed on screen and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You'll take care. Bye for now.